All right, well, I can't tell. Um, it's really bright, so I can't see if I'm on here. Uh, pardon me that I don't have a shirt on. I've been sweating something awful. Um, I just wanted to show you, there's been a lot of folks doing things on uh, the, uh, I don't know, the Facebook, the, uh, the Insta, hell, I'll get some of my, some, the Instagram, the pen, pen, pen and tellerist. Anyway, um, they do it with these here uh, pallets, and uh, I did not steal these. Uh, there was a sign that said free wood out behind the Rural King, and uh, and these were pretty close to it. So anyway, I did a project with these. Um, I got a mess more of them there. Um, I was redoing the kitchen, and uh, accidentally had to get rid of the sink for a bit, so I uh, needed something temporary. And to be honest, I probably could have put in a new sink and... Uh, uh, countertop and all that and the time that it took me to make this, but I wanted to show you that you can do it. And this is temporary. This is completely temporary. But if you're into that old rustic look, um, this isn't half bad, really. So what I have here is, let's see if I can, I got a pallet that I put on the wall here and a pallet to hold it up so it doesn't fall out. This old bar sink that I got at garage sale. And uh, I didn't quite cut that the right length, but it's okay because it's temporary. Um, and all my plumbing stuff's all there. So, but anyway, um, if I can get this right. There, there we go. It works. It works. And sprays a little, sprays a little bit, but yeah. So um, basically, now the woman doesn't have to take the bucket, uh, the 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 sink bucket, into the shower to wash the dishes anymore and I think she's gonna be happy about that and I think she's really gonna like how you know thrifty this was so uh, if you need any other tips on things to do with pallets um, I can do some more projects uh, hi I don't normally do two videos in one day but uh, this case came in the mail and uh, somebody said in that video where I didn't have my shirt on that that was a little inappropriate for family viewing. So um, they sent me a shirt to wear. So I'm going to try to wear this for any time I do my shows. Um, it, is, it says Todd the Hammer. I think that means tool. And I, Todd the Tool, I mean, that's a compliment because I know how valuable my tools are and how I couldn't do anything without them. So I'm happy to be Todd the Tool for sure. Um, but this came from from somebody who said that I was indecent for being on 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 the on the show here the Tubi video um, without a shirt on and you know their name is horny all they sent me this thing it says horny all day I mean that's not that's that's not what Jan, Jan Horned day oh. Anyway, then, uh, thank you, Jan, for the shirt. Uh, Todd the Tool, that's, that's going to be my new moniker. Um, I don't know what moniker means, but somebody said that that should be it, so I'm going to look that up. Uh, still got the shower going back here. Yeah, like a champ. All right, love you all. Um, more videos to come. All right, so you know how I said that uh, Pex... Uh Plumbing pipe is so helpful around the house. Well, I found another use for it, and this is great. Because if you like have some stuff that you don't have a shed or your garage is all full, so you put a bunch of stuff in the back of your pickup truck, and uh, you just put a tarp over it, sometimes that don't work so well because you get rain, and the rainwater settles down into into the tarp in the truck. But this, it held. I'm going to see if you can see this here. It held pretty good because it's all the way, all the way there. It didn't, it almost dumped in there. And I put this PEX down in the water. I, I really got to figure this phone thing out. Um, anyway, the PEX is down in the water. It comes down out here and it's just, can you, am I looking at the, yeah, it's flowing out. So I just sucked on that until I got rainwater in my mouth. And that's all right because that's clean. And, uh, and so this is going to do the job for me. Hey y'all, I know you've been wondering, uh, Todd the Tool, where you been? Uh, what you been up to? Been busy, been a lot of places. 
Um, got a lot of projects going as usual. Um, you can see the pile behind me. It's all those pallets. Got those cut up. Um, using them for lots of different cool stuff that we're going to show you later. Um, but why haven't I been on here for a while? Well, I haven't had my phone. They've all been so uh, supportive, saying, you know, do the YouTube channel. Uh, hell, some people said, oh, pardon my language. Some say, people said, um, get on get on the HG of the TV. And so, um, you know, I don't know how to get those videos to the YouTube, so I certainly didn't know how to get the videos to uh, the HG of the TV people. So what I did was I just, I mailed my phone with the videos on them to them um, with a little note that said, you know, see what you think, maybe a show, maybe a, you know, holiday special, I don't know. Um, so they sent me my phone back, um, haven't heard anything else, um, just waiting to hear, fingers crossed. Um, be watching for some stuff I got coming up, uh, we've got a lot of projects to do and I uh, want to have you all be a part of that. So if anybody wants to help and be on the videos, um, you know, there's opportunities for that. If anybody wants to sponsor, we have sponsorship available. All right, hey there, Todd the Tool. Um, I actually have this, uh, my camera, phony thing, is taped to a milk crate. So that works, because I don't have a stand. Um, so, I was going to wear my Todd the Tool shirt. Um, Jan, I love it. I lost it. I don't know where it is. Um, maybe in the closet. Maybe in the laundry. Anyway, um, this one we're going to call uh, Making a Nut Organizer. And um, a lot of times you all have the old coffee cans like this. And they'll have bolts and screws and... I don't even think I have any nuts in here. Uh, anyway, they get all mixed up like this. So you gotta make something so you can sort them out. So uh, you need to have all of your supplies together first. Um, excuse my fingers. Um, we're gonna be making uh, these out of uh, plastic water bottles. The last one I tried to make um, was out of aluminum cans. And I'm just going to say that is not a good idea. You are going to get cut. All right, so you need uh, however many of these, uh, you know, and they don't have to be water bottles. They can be Mountain Dew, should they want to sponsor me. They could be Diet Coke, should they want to sponsor me. I'm really crossing my fingers for the RC Cola folks. Alright, so anyway, you need some water bottles or bottles of beverage and drink things. Um, you're going to need some, some cuttings, scissors, or um, you know how we love the pecs. Probably, I'm going to see if we can use this. Um, you need tape of some sort. People love duct tape. Now I'm going to tell you, I don't use a lot of duct tape. I use this, this black uh, elect wide electrical tape. It's really sticky so it uh I, it does a good job for me um i don't think in anything else uh if you are maybe some band-aids uh no, sorry these are these are not band-aid these are cure ad latex free now they can be band-aids if band-aids wants to pay for some promotional uh monies all right so um you take your bottle, and uh, I'm going to try the PEX cutter. Yeah, that's not very good. We'll try the scissors. Um, there we go. You take the labels off. Um, maybe you can use PEX cutter for cut. Now, these are mostly just for PEX, so we're going to keep those for PEX. Um, take the scissors and just kind of cut at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to get this plate out of the way. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, now I'm doing this at the dining room table because I'm not using any glue this time. So I don't have to worry about the uh, tablecloth. Just cut that one off there. You can keep these labels because they're probably good for something. Cut that, cut that off right. You want to cut it all the way too. That's about the same size. We're going to cut... I'm going to do four of these. Now I'd normally want one with more than four. 
But, um, oh, I'll get that later. Um, we're gonna, four, four will be enough for now, just as an example. So, taking those off, hard to work with these, these banded, curad bandages on my fingers. So, cut, cut those off. All right, so that's about the same size here. Then you take your tape, and it's really hard to get off here, and you want to tape them all together. Um, oh, right, you might need a hand with this, but I, I don't know, I seem to have it. So I'm just going to tape that around there. Not right, I got my finger, ow, my finger caught in there. Um, We're just gonna tape that together. All right, so if you can see, we tape that together. Um, this is good tape, but if your tape is not as strong, you might just wanna go around it twice because you do have to remember, we're gonna be putting nuts and bolts and screws and such in there. Well, there we go, we just taped that twice. Uh, if you're worried about the bottom, you can always you always tape across the bottom. I'm not worried about that. Um, now we can say, okay, I got myself a long, long, like bolt, lag bolt thing here, and uh, all right, that got squished up a little bit, so I don't know. There we go. Um, put the lag bolts in that one, and um, this is a smaller lag. It's kind of the same thing. So we'll put that in there. Um, we got some drywall screws. We don't want to put those in the same one. We'll put those in a different one. So uh, drywall screws go in there. Um, I got this. This was down in my stuff. I don't know what that is. We'll put that over here in miscellaneous. Um, oh look there. I do have a, I do have a nut. I have one nut. So I can start a, uh, a section for nuts and I can put those over there and um, so here we go another bolt so, we put, so as you can see you just organize those and if you're like all right I got some machine screws I need to organize so I can I take that off there first um, so you need machine screws you add yourself another little Another little compartment there. Um, well, like hard to this gets tape gets stuck to my bandage here, and you just tape tape that on. There you can see, because it doesn't have to be even. You don't have to have even numbers. Um, you know, this just going in the garage just doesn't have to look pretty. It does, but it doesn't have to. Um, so then you could be like, I got little drywall anchors or something. And so you put those in that one. And you just keep adding as many as you need. Um, now, you can't really write on this so much because it's black. So um, you might need some stickers or something if you need to label them at all. Uh, was there anything else I was going to talk about? I don't think so. This, is, uh, this was a little longer thing, but people were like, we don't want to just see your finished products. We want to see you doing the work because how are we going to know how to do it right if we don't see it step by step? Now, I'm going to try to uh, do some more videos with my milk crate uh, set up here. Uh, but if you like this, um, you know, make one and you can uh, post pictures of yours uh, under the video. So, uh, Nut organizer, stay tuned. We got some pumpkin type holiday special coming up for uh, how to do uh, your jack-o'-lanterns with power tools. That one's gonna be really fun. So see y'all soon. Hi, it's Todd the Tool here with uh, uh, just a tip just for a minute. Um, we are at a 
undisclosed um, home improvement store unless they wish to pay for the promotional ad and I'm here looking at grinders there's angle grinders and we got grinding wheels and such and more grinders over here you can get bench grinders lots of good grinders around um, I love grinders I, I use it as a cutoff tool to like take out plumbing and stuff so anyway you can get um, a lot of information on on the internet's like like you do with my videos um, but connect with people out there you know comment on their things if, if they like uh, tools like you like tools get, get if you do woodworking you get on woodworking site I like grinders so I found an app it's called grinder so I made a profile I'm gonna connect with some guys and see what they like to grind against so let's see what see what, what we find hey everybody uh todd tool here um know y'all been wanting to know what can you do with pallets you like my sink so much I said hey i think we could do some more things in the kitchen now i had me a real good uh line on a double oven for the kitchen and so i went ahead and sold the stove and then the double oven sort of fell through. So, have had not had a stove for a while. Woman not so happy about that. So today I have fixed it. Um, you're probably wondering why I have this Brillo pad um, taped to my hat. HGTV sent me this nice hat for sending them my videos. But they said, do not, I repeat, do not advertise for us on your YouTube videos. Um, so I will not do that. It's some sort of copyright infringement sort of thing. Uh, so I have taped this Brillo pad over where it says HG of the TV. All right, so here we go. Um, you're going to really like this. Um, I had this cook cooktop, this GE profiled cooktop, and uh, you can see that right there. And I uh, found that alongside the road, and, um, and I just screwed together some more of these... Uh, I don't know if there's any way I can flip this phone around. Um, maybe you can see that. Uh, I just put some more of these uh, pallets together and uh, wired that all up down there. And now, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not up to code. No. You got, when you screw together some um, electrical stuffs, cords and whatnot, you have got to put that in a electrical box. So that is just to show you how I did it. But I'm going to put that in an electrical box. Don't worry. I'm going to get that all up to code. Otherwise, this is pretty good. And um, here you just turn this on. You can see that says the unit is on. And uh, that is hot already. That is really hot. So I can just put, um, you know probably have to wash that or something because it's been outside for a while uh put your pans on there and you cook on it now you say have you built into some special features answer is yes i have you may notice right here in the pallets there's like these little shelves that is a great place to put your spices and your cooking stuffs like your uh spray oils and whatnot now, i couldn't find spray oil but uh i found this here vanilla and it probably works about the same so you can put that right there on that shelf easy to get to um i think the woman's gonna be happy with this uh i want to show you uh where some people were inspired by my uh sink thing um and it's gonna be in a picture to show you uh other ways of how that can look so if you don't remember um sinks Looking real good. Um, see, that was that piece that was too long. I kind of had that same problem over here, too. But these are all things you can fix later. So, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the YouTube channel. I need 100 prescribers. Uh, you remember, it's that long thing. You got to look, look on the Facebook for that. So, uh, thank you all, and we'll see you later.